Hello everyone, Wylock here. Just got finished painting Belisarius Call. A really fun model to paint, gonna show it off at the end, but it did get me to thinking, why not make some Adeptus Mechanica subjective markers? So, here we go. First up, need some 40 millimeter bases. Uh, I didn't have any left over and didn't feel like buying them, so I knocked them out with my 3D printer, and then primed them. Then applied Martian Iron Crust, very thick, very lumpy, gave that overnight to dry, and then washed with Agrax Earthshade. And lastly, a dry brush with Rizzo Rust. Now for the tubes themselves, this was not my idea at all. I was cruising the Warhammer 40k fans Facebook group, and a guy named Jethro Hallberry posted this. Pretty awesome, so I had to give it a try. So here, glass fuses, don't care what they're rated for, all I cared about is their size, so these are 30 millimeters long. And I bought a fresh pack of Sharpies too, gonna experiment with other colors in future projects. Link in the description below for these products. So pretty simple, just paint the glass using the Sharpie color of your choice. It sticks well after it dries, doesn't rub off, don't need to seal it. And then the number of rods on the marker indicates which marker it is, one through six. So to join them together, I'm just using Loctite Gel Control Super Glue. For the glow on the ground, I took the airbrush, laid down some ultramarine blue, followed by electric blue, smaller burst, and then a plain white with a very small burst in the center to give it a glow. And once again, Gel Control Super Glue to attach the rods to the base and paint the rims black. So let's check these out in context. We'll put them with the uh, Mechanicum we built back in episode 77, and we'll put Belisarius Call there too. So that glow effect, really cool. I tried to focus it on the glass area so that the metal caps weren't, you know, glowing, but uh, that came out really nice. I'm pretty excited to use these, and since uh, this is a fairly short episode, I figured I'll just throw in uh, some Belisarius Call. And the trinkets on him uh, sort of mimic it, so that Sharenkov radiation theme is uh, what the client was interested in, so uh, several features on him have that glow and match the markers. This is a fun model to paint. Um, I only did it for a few bucks because he's a friend and frankly I wanted the challenge. So again, all credit to Mr. Jethro Hallberry. Really cool idea. For all you 3D printers out there, don't forget to check out Heroes Horde where you can get true tiles models as well as a ton of other excellent fantasy related scenery. I am Wylock, thank you for joining me, and I'll see you next time.